it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber who needs a brush. You know, in life there are a lot of deceptive things like people, companies, but now food, the thing we love the most, is getting exposed today. So you know when you see an ice cream ad and you're like, mmm, that sorbet? Be looking thick. But it's not actually sorbet. It's mashed potato. They do ice cream ads with instant mashed potato. Y'all couldn't even have mashed up some actual potatoes and they just dye the mashed potatoes and it's supposed to give off a similar texture. So you're looking at these ads like, mmm, looking like a snack. I mean, mashed potato is also a snack. But you know what? I'm just being lied to at this point. That is actually sickening. The fact that it looks so much like sorbet, but it's mashed potato. Food colored mashed potato. Over here, we got Cincinnati's famous chili spaghetti. Look at that. That looks so bomb. We got spaghetti, bolognese, and look at all that cheese on top. And then wait, hold on. When you open that up, you get this. This monstrosity. I've opened up packets of dog food that look better than that. Honestly, that looks like that after it's digested and in the toilet. Imagine looking at this at the store and be like, mm. all day you so excited for dinner and then you open it up and you're like, well, heck. So there have been some conspiracy theories for fast food sizes that the large and the medium contain the same amount, whether it's drinks or fries. Like, look at this. Look at this. Arby's. Yeah, I'm calling you out. The large has as much as the medium. Y'all couldn't fill that up a little more? Also, why does the large cost more when you get in the same food? You know, after I saw this, I've been taking my chances with a medium, and it is honestly almost the same. But I guess it depends on the place and whoever's filling up the fries. Sometimes they want to be stingy with them. Not my McDonald's, though. Shout out to my McDonald's. Every time I go order, they always make me a fresh batch of fries. I don't know, because nobody ordering fries. But it's like, every single time I go 2 a.m., they got fresh fries for me. And I appreciate that so much. But don't let that distract you from the fact that y'all still gotta fix your ice cream machine. Cereal commercial. Surprise, surprise, it's not actually milk. Milk makes the cereal soggy and you know what? We can't have that. So you know what they do? They fill up the bowl so it's not an actual bowl. It's really a plate onto a bowl. And put glue and then place each individual piece of mini wheats on that bowl. So you're looking at that like, mm, that looks like a nice bowl of cereal. It's not. It's a bowl of gluten and glue. Hmm, my favorite cereal. Gluten glue. So this is another food hack. Take your soda and pour it through a water filter. This is the bougie way of drinking soda. Ah, oh, so it comes out clear. Oh my god, I wonder what that tastes like. Oh, that's nasty. So they don't filter the soda? I gotta try this. You know those ads for Thanksgiving turkeys where the turkey looks so browned and crisp and they slather self-tanner all over this bad boy? Like it's raw. They don't even cook it. And there you have it. Mmm. Delicious Thanksgiving lies. Sauces are prepared with wax. You telling me in commercials where they dip a nugget in a sauce is not actually sweet and sour sauce? It's wax? What? To make the perfect consistency. They melt different colors of wax to make the sauces. I'm not sure if I could continue living knowing this fact. Now every time you watch a commercial, it ain't actually ketchup. You know what? I'm gonna pay close attention. I'm gonna see if it's really wax, because I'm not buying this one. There's no way. Okay, I've seen this a couple of times where people are claiming that for pancake commercials they use motor oil instead of syrup. <laughs> Imagine being on set like mmm damn those stacks are stacking. You gonna eat that? It takes a bite. No, I, I can't even imagine eating motor oil. But all I can tell you is like if there's a photo shoot for food and they're making it look really good it's most likely not 100% edible. Like they're gonna use some nasty trick. Like damn motor oil that should only go in your car but they put it on pancakes because it doesn't absorb into the pancakes like syrup does. Like, you know, you pour a whole thing of syrup on your pancakes and you're like, where did the syrup go? I poured a whole damn cup and the pancakes <laughs> slipped up that syrup before I could. That's why I dip my pancakes into syrup instead of pouring it all over. Life hacks. But that's gross. Ooh, this is the good one. So for burgers, you know how they got that char mark like perfectly grilled on the BBQ, but it's not on the BBQ. It's shoe polish. They take shoe polish and draw the char line. So you telling me they take in a refrigerated burger, like they couldn't even cook it, and they just drew char lines on it to make it look like it was cooked. My whole burger eating life was a lie. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't care 
no matter how hard you try, you absolutely cannot ruin a good burger for me. You can't ruin any of these foods for me, guaranteed. But you know what? Knowledge is power, and that's what we're gaining today. Here we got the Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. And they got one beef ravioli. I mean, that's what the thing says. Literally, beef ravioli. Not beef raviolis. You got exactly what the can said. This was just extremely unlucky. Or maybe you ate them and forgot about it. You know, we all been there, done that. You know, I'll be eating something, and before I even realize it, it's all gone. And then I'm like looking around like, did somebody eat this? There's no way I ate all of this right now. Film's angry Instagram story. Somebody stole my taquito. I had three taquitos on this plate. I swear I only had one. And all three of them are now gone. I'm suing the taquito company. I don't know if that made sense, but smash like if relatable. You know those soda or beer commercials where they got a ton of foam and you like, damn, she bubbly. But she ain't really bubbly. She's soapy. They put dish soap to make it extra bubbly. Wow. And you told me I'm gonna buy a can, pour it myself. That froth ain't gonna be that frothy. It's nothing but lies. Oh, yet another deceptive tactic. Cardboard inside cake. So they take the cake, make it look dummy thick, but it's actually filled with cardboard. And then they just put frosting over the cardboard. Wow. Anything for the gram, right? This is the food equivalent of Facetune. <laughs> So that's how they do the fries. They stick them individually in like a sponge and then put it in so they're all like happy and floating in the fry bag. <laughs> this next one, parfaits. It's not actually whipped cream, but it is another kind of cream. Shaving cream to be exact. You know, cause shaving cream is so thick and frosty and it works perfectly and it looks good. I mean, I feel like if they use real food or Cool Whip, you would've got the same result. But if you wanna use shaving cream, go for it. I can't stop you. Okay, it's 2019. Can we stop calling seedless watermelons seedless watermelons? Because they're not seedless watermelons. I have never in my life bought a seedless watermelon and had it not had any seeds at all. They always have seeds. No matter how small, no matter how big. There's no such thing as a seedless watermelon. I mean, I've never had one that was actually seedless. But like, who am I supposed to sue? Call up the watermelon report public. Hello, my father would like to file a lawsuit because these seedless watermelons you sell in ain't actually seedless. We've been falling for it for years and we continue to buy seedless watermelon only to eat around the seeds. This is the most petty thing I have ever seen. So Kellogg's has a two scoop raisin brand. I don't know, old people, they love their raisins. Pop some poop. So they're like, we put not one, but two whole scooperfuls of raisins in this cereal. And and this person dumped out the whole thing. It was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not buying it. I've had enough of this. Y'all say two scoops. I've been having a raisin brand for 10 years. And I ain't get more than three raisins every morning. So we gonna sit here. We gonna count it out. We're gonna take out every single raisin from this box of cereal. And it is not even a scoopful. Y'all lying. How y'all gonna say two scoopfuls? I mean, maybe their scoopers were really like this big. You know what they say. Enlarged to show texture. But really, that whole jumbo size, and you only gonna get that many raisins. Y'all have been robbed for too long. It's definitely not as misleading as the watermelon, but that's still pretty bad. Ugh. Oh, the good old sausage and cheese Christmas gift box. My favorite. You think you gonna get a whole block of cheese, and then when you open it up, you got skinny legend, cheddar and Swiss over here. Man, I thought I was getting a whole block. What is this tomfoolery? This is nothing but a farm of deception. You know when juices, popsicles, ice cream, whatever says 100% juice? I saw this today at the grocery store. It is almost always misleading. So when they say 100% juice, they mean the juice that they use in their ingredient is 100% juice. Duh. But it says contains 27% juice in the actual nutrition facts. So the nutrition facts, 27% of the ingredients is juice. But that Juice is 100% juice. See, that's where they get you. But now you know. All right, I've seen this before. This says gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. You know, this is my area of expertise. Hello, celiac over here. Yes, I'm a gluten expert. Fight me. So, it's a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie, but this product contains gluten. How can this be? You see, even if it is gluten-free, most of the time it was made in a facility that 
has gluten in it. So they make other things in that facility that have gluten in it. So they have to legally put that it contains gluten. Because it's processed in the same place with non-gluten things. I love buying panda-shaped popsicles to open them and have them look like this. They didn't even try. Not one heck was given in the making of this panda popsicle. It ain't even a panda. It looked more like Mickey Mouse than a panda. Okay, you know what? I see chocolate, I eat chocolate. So I don't care what it looks like, I'll still eat it. Here we got some pepperoni pizza. And you know that little cutout in the box where you can preview the pizza before you buy it. And then when you take it home and take it out, it's nothing but lies. How are you gonna put pepperoni on one side? And then surprise, the other side, we gonna cheap out. You look at the window, you gonna be like, damn, this is gonna be a meaty pizza. Nah, what is this? Hopefully your roommate likes cheese. Oh, they calling out Captain Crunch now. He's not actually a captain. So the stripes on his sleeve mean he is a commander. So he's actually Commander Crunch. Wow, so scandalous. Can we cancel Captain Crunch for being a lie? Here we got some chips. And then the new bigger size. New bigger size? This is supposed to be bigger? Bigger than what? My hand? Because it is. If it's bigger, that bad boy better be filled to the top. Because I know that big one is is only filled like less than half. Oh, this is so sad. The cotton candy McFlow. Oh man, this looks really good. This actually looks really bomb. But in real life, it's okay. I'm used to being disappointed. As long as it tastes good. Y'all really couldn't put more ice cream on that. Y'all really had to be that stingy. Oof, moose track ice cream. Look at that ice cream. Look at all those toppings. It's stuffed. And then when you open it up, what is this? You know, ice cream with like hella toppings or mix-ins or like brownies in it or cookie dough. I always eat just the cookie dough bites or always the brownie bites and I leave like the vanilla ice cream like alone and then I end up throwing the vanilla ice cream away like useless. You've served your purpose and that is for the brownie bites. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one of these was the craziest, which completely destroyed your trust in food. If you guys enjoyed and learned something new, make sure you smash that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.